your mama's wildlands um another episode of uh, ask your mama um again discussion on the uh, internet about uh lee's boar riders um, if you don't know what a boar rider is it is where the nose of the um bullet is the same od as the uh land to land on the uh, rifling in the in the uh barrel um so what is happening, um, as cast, the OD is perfect. It's about 0 0.3, and that is for the uh, 30 caliber bolts, which are 308. Once you powder coat, it goes up to 0 0.303, 304. And what you have is the bullet being jammed into the lands. The tip of the bullet's being jammed into the lands, and the cartridge won't seat properly in the chamber. So I came up with a solution. Uh, if you're not loading a few hundred, uh, it's probably a viable solution. If you're doing 500, 600, 1,000 bullets, well, you probably want to think of something else. So this is my solution. It works for my application. Take a look. Hope you enjoy. All right, so here's here's what I've done. You can see the uh, we call it here. Uh, I believe the size of it. It's the ER20-M. I'll uh, post a link. Now there was a little bit of uh, trial and error, and I put magic marker marks exactly where it tightens up and reduces the uh, bullet to what I need. So right now we are about uh, decimal 303. We want to get it down to just about decimal 3. Um, what I've done, you don't need to do this, but what I've done, I don't want to necessarily do the whole thing because it's not necessary. We just need to uh, get about the first quarter inch. So I made a little adapter up. And that goes in there. And then we just tighten this up. And now I'm starting to feel it tighten up. And all what I'm doing, I have a scratch on this so I know exactly we're going to tighten it up and then because it is a collet it's not going to be perfectly closed so and I really haven't tried to see whether once is enough but what I do once it's loose is I gave it a little bit of a turn and then I tighten it up again and the other thing is to keep it somewhat lubricated so you don't ruin the threads. And I just use my G96. So and there we have it. We have a sized bullet. And you can see right here we have a few indents from the uh, rough cut on the inside of these. And that's what I'm going to try to smooth out. Give me a second, my alarm's going off. So, now if we take this, you can see we're down to 03. Exactly where we want to be. The other idea that I've had is because I have the press, is to uh, put this in my lathe and remove the, um, remove the threads. And then just use the uh, press with an adjustable setting and just press it down and that should be fine too. I would need to do some kind of a uh, unit to cover the, uh, the bullet, press it down and come back up. We'll see. I uh, play with this for a bit. Um, I don't do a heck of a lot of these so it's, it's not bad. If you were to do thousands, you would definitely try to look at some other. But anyway, so that's it for those people who want to shoot uh, 
170 in their Winchesters and their 3030s. This is a viable option. It takes a little bit of time, but it works. All right, talk to you later. Be safe and uh, hit the subscribe if you want more uh, questions answered. You can also put your questions at the bottom, and if I'm capable, I will answer them. Take care. Bye.